Meanwhile, here in Florida, the 15 week abortion ban argued in state circuit court today, a judge considering whether to put the new law on hold before its effective date Friday. The decision could preserve late term abortions in the state, despite last week's Supreme Court overturn of Roe versus Wade. Our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders was in the courthouse today and has the latest from Tallahassee. It's a case that could determine the fate of Florida women seeking abortions up to 24 weeks. Session. Judge John Cooper gaveling in the injunction hearing Monday saying he intends to rule as quickly as possible. <laughs> Plaintiffs are arguing the new law, which provides exceptions only for fatal fetal abnormalities, violates the state constitution under its broad privacy protections against government intrusion. They allege women, especially those from low income or minority families, will suffer under its provisions. HB5 directly impacts on the sanctity and the privacy of the physician-patient relationship. Attorneys bringing in Florida OBGYNs like Dr. Shelley Tien to make their case. The health practitioner telling the court those impacted by the 15-week ban are often facing the most challenges. Experiencing active intimate partner violence. They are women who are less educated and may not be aware that they were pregnant earlier. And they are also women who have intended pregnancies that developed maternal and fetal conditions. Lawyers for the state allege none of the women's health clinics bringing the suit are asserting their right to privacy and don't have legal standing to sue. And their witnesses included neurobiologist Dr. Maureen Kondik, who defended the concept of life at conception. The conclusion that life begins at the instant of sperm-egg fusion is scientifically incontrovertible. Judge Cooper says he wants to offer a decision as soon as closing arguments conclude, which could come as soon as Tuesday or as late as Thursday. <coughs> Meanwhile, the start of that 15-week abortion ban is set to take effect July 1st. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.